as of writing, we are at 530 patrons. We're nearing the goal of being fan funded every week. Please consider checking out my Patreon links below. Every pledge goes a seriously long way and helps so much. Robin! You can't have a new part without Chopper getting a win for being adorable. That cute little eh? Zoro right away impressing me at the start of the episode by thinking outside the box and talking about taking out the person who will be firing the cannon hadn't even thought of that. Usopp then impressing me by thinking up something my dumb head also didn't think about, that of course the cannon will be quite some distance away. I figured it'd be in the square itself, stupidly. I don't even care, she basically said I'm right and I genuinely was shocked by that reveal after writing what I just did. Turns out I'm so smart. <coughs> moments that makes me hyped up purely by how cool it was that all three of them defended her in unison like that. Get in! You know the drill by now, all these people looking different, no copy and paste to ease the workload. Not running to find the cannoneer on the spot! Getting to see these two in combat together is a somewhat rare treat, especially side by side like this. Really doing a good job here of building the tension and at the same time reminding us of what is at stake. He's definitely the best villain up to this point because not only is his devil fruit ability so strong, but he himself is clearly also very strong, which is going to make this one hell of a fight. Such a classic Luffy move that was. Happy to drop a win here for the first time that absolutely everyone is on the same page during this entire saga. Feels good. Take one here because I legit forgot he could do this as well. Oh, you can so tell the animators spared no expense putting animation into this fight. Oda still managing to come up with brand new and unique attacks for Luffy to carry out, even 120 episodes later. That dodge from Luffy in his face when he did so. Once again, the effects from after an attack like that are done so well. <laughs> First of all, it's damn good that when he mocked Luffy, he ended up with a strong punch to the dome. But also, Luffy used an old attack in a different way, using his reach, but then using it to pull himself forwards in order to quickly close the distance. So smart! Okay, but now I'm getting nervous again, because he's already tossed the barrel, and now he's getting blown away! <laughs> okay, feeling less nervous, let's go! The amount of frames that went into both of these reactions to seemingly Luffy drinking all the water... In a strange way, personality-wise, Luffy is a bad enemy for him to face because he rarely takes things too seriously and he seems to hate that! <laughs> oh my goodness! What a stunningly beautiful laugh she has! I loved that! Such a clever attack from Luffy and a follow-up coming at you fast! Oda being even more clever with Luffy by making it so he can manipulate his body in different ways, such as this, in order to give him new uses for his power. Hell 
yes, that's once again too damn good to not score max wins. Luffy taking things seriously, using my favourite attack, the sound and visuals on the impact and then him flying off like that, so good! Also, sorry to bug you, I totally forgot to mention it at the start. Tomorrow, if you're watching this on the day, is the day patrons decide if we stay with One Piece. So check it out for a buck if you want to vote. Thanks. I love seeing her use her ability, but also using this moment to keep the bigger story in focus, because really, this is one small link in a much larger chain from the sounds of things. This quite tense standoff between them as Luffy is likely trying to figure out what she's all about. <laughs> the huge extent of his powers, and you can tell he doesn't ever whip these out much, given how angry he was about being forced to use them. Getting nervous again, because he is starting to learn Luffy's attacks, and of course, if he is quick, he can counter them with his own abilities rather easily. Damn, man! Two wins back, I gave a win for showing the extent of his power, and now he's getting the anime another one, because as it turns out, that was nowhere near the extent of it. this! Not only is that a cool name for an attack, but I loved that zooming out shot when it happened too. This is the great thing about splitting them up. We can leave Luffy's battle from the first half of the episode and now dart to Chopper and Nami trying to find the man with the cannon. The realism of packing the home Sanji looks into for the cannon with homely type stuff rather than having it be empty. Usopp found the cannon, hopefully anyway. <laughs> Zora is just the best, doesn't even question things or hesitate, just starts jumping up there. Damn, I had a feeling that was too quick, but credit to Zoro for smashing it so easily, that was sick. Vivi keeps on showing that spirit that the rest of the Straw Hats have, and I won't stop praising her for it. Learning more about Nico Robin, and it's a fairly strange and intriguing piece of information, no less. Oh my word, this story gets better and better. Now the Navy and this lady have turned up in force. It can't get much better, can it? What if Smoker is here too? That'll be another win. A standoff between two of these women, and credit to her in the Navy for refusing to back down too. Heck yes! Even when she knows there are only seven minutes left till the cannon is fired, she still says we will quickly save you and then go after the cannon. Like, she's brave as anything she is. What a powerful ability to be able to use it on so many people at the same time! You could already tell that she was very likely going to be joining the crew when she was focused on so much around this point, so I can forgive the opening spoilers a little, but yes, loving learning more. Also though, baby Nico Robin! Art style change all of a sudden, plus learning that she was just eight years old when she was wanted. Seeing this side to her, up till now she's been the height of calm, but now is losing her temper. I just had to show that before talking over it. I mean, what an absolutely incredibly strong but also unique power to possess. Okay, 
at least in this moment, it's worth a win to know that Luffy has tired him out some. He's not all powerful. Scrap all the prior Jojo situations, this is the new number one. Because he even sapped away all the water he held in his gut, and he lost his hat, that's a big deal. This is insane. Had it not been for the water he blew up into the air, missing Crocodile earlier, his journey may have been over here already. Incredible. But then Luffy said it even better than I did, plus half the win is for him being back in the game. Let's keep going! Animating them both walking through the scene like it's no big deal. Really fitting this tomb with the general kind of vibe of this nation. Well, that was absolutely sick. Reminded me of the wins I gave out at the end of the Drum Island arc for clever ways they use technology around the palace there. Also, take one for how they animated it too. That looks so good, it really should get its own win. You keep on building the events that are going on behind the scenes and in the process hyping me up and I'll keep giving wins. Learning more about Nico and why she teamed up with Crocodile in the first place, and how she can read what they're going to look at. In line with win number 3641, the inside itself looks even better and more detailed than what was up top. Instead of just skimming over her battle and showing her wounded, they actually do go on to show it. I feel the need to again give her credit for her own resolve and tenacity here. On Star Change on Smoker! <laughs> to give him a small bit of credit, he's not just recklessly taking out everyone everywhere, he even tells her to go back to her base and talk endlessly about justice there instead. Keeping up lots of fresh movements during this larger battle still. This is hands down one of the funniest things to happen in One Piece history. Made even better by the hit from Zoro. Oh god. <laughs> Nami raised a great point here, and then Chopper covers up any potential plot hole with style and beauty. <laughs> oh man, that's almost as good as the last fantastic joke I win. Finding such a specific smell. <laughs> How come the comedy is so damn good this episode? <laughs> I'm really hoping that scenes like this will eventually enable her as well to understand what Luffy and Zoro and the crew are actually all about. <laughs> And there we have it, in this moment she put aside her stubborn pride of being a marine and decided to help Luffy find him. Very symbolic there, her dropping the sword and accepting help too. Her still showing that there's absolutely zero quit in her too. Oh, it's hard to see Luffy hurt like this. You end up loving the guy, and so it just hurts to see. Secondly, though, the animation on that stumble and subsequent fall was beautiful. <laughs> they did it not once, but twice, no less! Wow, what a genuinely fantastic visual to suddenly witness. It's like something out of Alien, especially with that sound. 
which sounds like a lack of sound, if you know what I mean. Kahira による Arabasta Sefku. Korega Tendeki ni Haksanjukune. He butts in while she's speaking, but I was floored by all of the unique details thought up by Oda that simply related just to this one country's history in the world. <laughs> one of the best plot twists of the saga, because it happened so much earlier than I thought it might. No wonder it likely sped up her joining the crew so fast by already happening now. <laughs> Even someone as strong as Nico cannot excel against Crocodile when he's able to disappear so quickly. She even had such a clever plan ready beforehand no less. <laughs> Not making it so that he just randomly took her out anyway, but making it happen because he now thinks he doesn't need her any longer. No idea if what he's planning will lurk, highly doubt it, but it still makes for another awesome twist that he's trying to bury all of them down there together. Fitting that it's a flashback from a childhood that included Koza that helps her to remember where the cannon might fit. <laughs> Usopp getting angry in the background as a stray bullet nearly hit him a second ago. <laughs> him continuing to fight in the background. Oh, it made me laugh. <laughs> Honestly, it's a small thing, but at the same time, what's an absolutely awesome and badass moment? <coughs> Luffy is such a simple but lovable dude. He sleeps off his bad injuries. <coughs> This entire thing is basically Luffy to a T. <laughs> Describing a hole in the ground as looking gatorish. <laughs> Not running on the spot! <laughs> Luffy gets the same win as Zoro earlier heading to the cannon. Look at him go! Animated nicely too! <laughs> Very clever to keep a sense of urgency time-wise, so he quickly leaves them a note and then they head off together already. It's funny too, but mostly it's the realism of hurrying. Showing everyone making their way to them and at the same time seriously giving this city so much size by showing so many different areas of it. Usopp's new attack, which also annoyingly affected me, but I won't put you through that. Unless you don't pledge to the Patreon. That excellent zoom out shot showing the palace and then larger parts of the city. Great damage effect animation! Timmy. Luffy arriving on the scene, yet again, let's go! But also his reaction to seeing Luffy on the scene again, he's probably genuinely concerned how he keeps surviving all the time and I for one love it. Oh heck yes, he then went ahead and said so much himself. Take that win! Mugiwara. Obviously she was going to survive, but I won't fib, it's still very nice to see. Brilliant that this is what Luffy is so focused on because it's exactly what Vivi needs, what they all need, and Luffy will not stop until he sees it done. <laughs> Ooh, 
That music is one of my favourites and always elevates the scene for me, but now I understand Luffy saying you took her country before we even got here, seeing all the destruction and how it affected her. How Oda wrote his mind, sometimes working in such simple ways is great. Another great plot twist, are you having a giggle? I'm thinking the same as Crocodile, you've got no water, and boom, he still lands the hit, I love it! How he thought he could make Luffy wait by saying wait? Luffy is all fired up after remembering all the stuff he's done to this country and most of all Vivi. I knew it would bite him one day! If I had to guess, I'd have guessed that, but it's still super clever, let's go. It was legit nice to see him having to dive to the ground to dodge Luffy. Nothing prideful about doing that in the dust and the dirt. That simple way he has about him, it's poison. I see. Including that as it's simply put, just a cool looking moment. Not running on the Zora spot! Going back to an earlier win, another instance of not every single person being in the loop of everything that's happening, I really do appreciate that. <laughs> this is getting max wins. Why? I hear you yell. It is a simple scene, is it not? You speak awful posh. The reason is because it's the best plot twist in the world. Who'd have thought they'd help Zoro? Then also as good is this lady understanding way more of what's going on and what the Straw Hats are doing here and actually helping them. Can't lie, that made me smile! Even better is knowing that she wasn't ordered to do this. It's absolutely what she knows in her heart is the right thing to do. Three awesome looking art style changes on the wider battle. <laughs> <laughs> Usopp doing a great job of keeping her focused on the much larger mission. Yes, it's hard to see your people dropping like that, but if they don't hurry, it'll be so much worse. Such a clever place to put it, especially since it's been focused on so much over the past half dozen episodes. <laughs> As hard as it is to see happen, it's good to find a way to keep him out of the action for a bit. Otherwise the tension would melt away in seconds as he gets in there and stops it. <laughs> With poison being a factor, this fight is going to be so much worse for me. Luffy again using his same old abilities, but in new ways to counter his own. Luffy clearly landing decent hits on him too. One of the most creative attacks we've ever seen from him. To smash through, close the distance, hold the poison attack at bay and then whack him, brilliant. Mommy I have no clue how it happened, but I'm very happy about it. And Zoro is up even higher! You can so tell that these guys, aside from Luffy of course, are the most physically able among the whole crew. <laughs> Introducing two new characters at this stage was a clever twist. Two likely final members of their people to take on. <laughs> it made me legit so happy that she wasn't wasting time with these losers claiming to not be a part of Baroque works and just cut them down instead. What a legend she is turning out to be! 
その通りだねミスファーザーズデイ Such a cool looking shot get out of here I really gotta give Wild props for how many shots they've done of this battle. So many different angles and such to sell a continued fight all this time. <laughs> Even though he missed, it was a sick looking shot and he may have timed it to jump whilst the rubble fell too. I think the person or people who did Sanchi vs Bon Clay and Zoro vs Mr. One also did this battle. The same style can be felt. <laughs> For some reason it really tickles me that he created actual working weapon functions, but under the notion that they'd only be useful to entertain after parties. <laughs> I, along with like a solid 85% of the viewers, felt that right there. That's a great looking and acted out sequence, everyone working together to get them to the top. <laughs> It's great how different both Crocodile and Luffy are to one another. Luffy's way of thinking and what he's doing is totally alien to someone like him. Quite an evil guy by all accounts. It's actually really sweet to know that this was another driving factor in his thought process and his actions this saga. It's because he doesn't want to see her die. Maybe ever since she helped Nami. This moment between them felt as though, even if only a tiny bit, Crocodile was starting to understand Luffy a tiny bit. Zoro will be fine, we know this obviously, so the big win is for Usopp's rare, ultra quiet reaction of shock. <laughs> Tony using his form's abilities to quickly dodge the shot and confuse them. I love it. <laughs> how they did this really reminded me of how well it was done in Hunter x Hunter during the Chimera Antarch. This is pretty much on the same level of tenseness that I remember watching 24 and Jack was disarming a bomb or something. <laughs> Damn man, seriously? <laughs> Yet another instance of aging people really nicely in this one. I swear half the time in other anime, people look the same 20 years ago and stuff. <laughs> I swear if that's her father or the la 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 guy, then that's such a good callback to a much earlier episode. Nice job showing the city from when she was a child to now being caked in war as it were. They didn't have to animate another scene from the battle, but they did it anyway. God, she's awesome. She stopped it. We knew she'd stop it, obviously. But it was still done so well that it made me so tense and hyped right till the end. Well done. One hundred percent one of the greatest moments of One Piece to date. Poor little chopper! <laughs> I knew Oda wouldn't leave it at that! Dude to such a wizard and a legend! I knew he'd add some more tension onto the scene before finally letting up! Let's go! Nicely plays into an earlier win from a while ago where I mentioned how well thought out his whole plan was this does. 
教えてやろうかお前に国は救えない Half the win is because the voice actor did such a good job creating this villain and bringing him to life, and the other half is because the time remaining is going quick! Massive JoJo situation! You can really feel the utter frustration, which to be honest is nowhere near a strong enough word, here from Vivi, and the voice actress continues to nail that tone. あなたの破天荒な行動には毎度手を焼かされっぱなしで。There's something quite concerning but largely serene about Pell talking this way with her in the background, trying to almost plead with him. It's like he knows what needs to be done and is doing this first. ほら、今日はペルの入隊記念日でしょだから。首にするぞ、首に。おおじゃにさん。はい、いいがな。おいおい。<laughs> Seeing the kind of relationship they built over the years based on love and trust, what he did was harsh, but it was aimed at saving her life, which it may well have done. Good to see their bond. Yeah, you can almost feel it coming. Some lovely words spoken so proudly there, it just gets its own win. <gasps> Just like in the build up to her stopping the fuse, take one for how this scene was built with just the ticking being heard. I hope that's just symbolism and he's gonna survive this, but if it's not, that's beautifully done with the symbol he represents falling and breaking there. I mean. I can't see any way in which he survives that. It was a wonderful and painful scene, incredibly well done, and highly deserving of two max wins for what he did to protect Vivi and the people. The difference between the crew's reaction to Vivi's, since he obviously means so much more to her personally, was well done. <laughs> Take a final one for the episode for that brave and powerful statement leading into the end of the episode. Brilliant. I'm really very happy that they chose to make it such a heavy impact in spite of being so high in the air when it went off, rather than everyone below just looking up. Stuff like that, keep showing the human element to what just went down is such a good choice to make. Same time, showing our crew like this drives home what just happened as well, as they show their shock at it too, and able to understand what just happened rather than cracking on with life. <laughs> Unreal. Everyone having a brief pause and then throwing themselves right back into battle without even thinking. Also, though, the soldiers being animated here as a crowd and how many of them there are. Then you give us this even better looking, as it's so much more detailed, shot. They're honestly insane for this. Between the last, what, 10 episodes, there's been dozens of these shots, mostly stills, but quite a few animated. The effort into selling this as a big battle has been huge. Goodness me, that was well done, with you being able to just about hear Vivi up there screaming for them to stop fighting. Also, as a side note, anime seemed to master this sound aspect years ago, whereas some video games seem to still struggle with the idea of groups of people or making sounds at a distance. Bethesda! I think it's fair to say at this point she's almost suffering from, like, PTSD or something. Once more, though, the voice actress absolutely nails it. Nami being in tears watching her friend fall apart like that up there, but even better is her relying on her friends down there to try and make something happen. Powerful stuff, man! He's a bad guy, but that doesn't stop this moment from looking really sick. Ah, let's freaking go! Luffy is back on his feet yet again and doing it for Vivi! Mm. 
Also, though, you just gotta love to see Crocodile so angry at the fact that he does keep on getting up again and again. I don't even care, that's getting its own win. Again, though, such a badass looking scene. It looks fantastic, and of course, he says those fateful words again, too. It's a little thing, but I like how even back in the very early 2000s, they were using this camera type trick to add to the realism, that being the focus on his arm and then himself. Oh hell yes! Not only did that look and sound great, but Luffy has now succeeded in removing the poison applicator part of it. So awesome! You could totally have another one for that too! I cannot even begin to tell you how hyped it's making me to see Luffy land some big hits at this point during the battle. Hard to believe it's been raging for so many episodes now as well. Boom! Two Max wins! First of all, he followed up with another attack right away. I like that. And secondly, the animation on the attack and destruction from it was awesome. They found a wind's vein with Luffy wailing on him. Oh, it's such a legit delight to see him so confounded about how it's possible that he's still going and seemingly stronger than before. Such joy I take in it. Mr. Five Pair got yarded to that. It's a dogon of Doits in it. Huh. Nanika no matching either. Yatsra Mada Ixte, Tenoka. What a time to be showing how he's been basically underestimating Luffy all of this time, from even the earliest reports, and now all this time later, he's getting beaten up by him. What storytelling! <laughs> showing the metal go flying off the end as the blade came out. But also, what is this guy, Krieg? It's amazing to watch him now mentally getting so angry and frustrated at being knocked about by a nobody. That's not something often touched on in anime because the heroes are, well, heroes. Oh, it's so good. It's so damn good, bro. With the powerful shouting of attacks, the effects on those attacks, and then the damage done to the world as a result, that got me thinking, it's the same quality as Hunter x Hunter here, from a weekly anime. I talk about it all the time, but just look at the quality down on the damage, part of a pillar even splits into smaller parts. be real, I hadn't considered I'd be witnessing such epic fights in One Piece, especially this early on. I'm blown away. Take Max wins. It really is the quality of Hunter x Hunter all around. Voice, action, etc. It never fails to draw a win out of me when he smacks the dude so hard. Also though, what a choice of music to do it with. I think that's a new track and it almost sounds operatic, which fits the bill beautifully. Oh snap, it's no wonder the underground looks so massive if it's under the main city pretty much. That must have been seriously hard for the animation team because you can just see how much animation and frames mixed into it, all to sell the floor giving away. My god, that looks and sounds good. The slow motion fighting at the forefront, the classical sounding music, and him flying up through the air in the background. Max wins for that! <laughs> this win is purely for the fact that Chopper is biting some dude's head to try and make them stop fighting. Whoever put this entire scene together did an absolutely fantastic job. I'm in awe. The wind just doing its thing casually. A 
another amazing looking sequence with everyone fighting in slow mo down below mo. <laughs> Everyone being so freaking happy. Let's be real though, this isn't over yet, I'm sure of that. In fact, I'm feeling nervous as I think Oda is trying to trick me. Glad it's not all happy-go-lucky for Vivi there. She's still mourning the continued fighting down below, and the scratching on the stone is a good way to represent that. Max wins of the video. The quality of that was nothing short of incredible as we zoomed through into the country and then into the city. I'm blown away. How are there so many good looking shots in this episode? Oh my word. The rain started and it never even hit me right away. The rain finally came. Um. Just a quick one here, as I assume it was caused maybe by Crocodile being locked out for a moment and so he wasn't able to continue controlling the weather? Either way, it's amazing. <laughs> it being the rain that poetically stopped the carnage from raging around them. Also another one for the fact that the soldiers slowly stopped as well. It wasn't instant, they just realised it was raining together slowly. wins here. Firstly, that voice acting is again spot on. Nothing else can be said. Secondly, it's the whole crowd that they animated for the moment, really detailed yet again. Finally, it's the fact that she never stopped yelling that whole time, but now could be heard perfectly. Baby -sama. Baby -sama. Baby. Everyone disarming, but also how it's royal guards and normal citizens alike who are saying her name like this. Look at the sheer quality of these two crowds. Oh man, it really does feel like it's the end of the battle. Oh, I hope so. So much. What an elegant moment, though. Ah, oh, <laughs> that legit brought a tear to my eye, that did. I'm giving Max wins to how beautifully this episode was wrapped up. Oh man, I haven't seen something that good in a long, long time. Stunningly well done. Tear it up here. Well done, seriously. Very happy to see in a weird way that everyone didn't join hands and start singing, you know what I mean? Too much has happened for everyone to just snap out of it and be normal. Whoever did the crowds for this saga genuinely deserves so much credit and a raise. Even now, they should get a raise. Yes, he's still alive. For maybe the final time of this saga, everyone looking different. We knew he was okay, but I did forget he was back in it as it's been a few days since then for me and my writing process, and this 100% made me start tearing up. God, it's good to see him again. <laughs> Cannot express how much I love that not everyone is always in the loop about everything all the time. Chopper doesn't know him! <laughs> Oh my god! This is so damn good! It's the boy who saw the truth back then! And now his statement is being backed up by none other than Koza himself. It's got me so emotional all the time. What a beautiful moment as they drop their weapons. Her genuine concern for where the crew are. This just speaks to the amazing character of this collective crew. They achieved the mission and now like it's no big deal, they're wanting to simply exit the scene casually. 
君たちかねビビをこの国まで連れてきてくれた海賊たちと。I like a king like this. Even though Luffy has done everything for this country and taken out Crocodile, it's still good to see a king helping him out physically by carrying him. No big fuss about it. Zoro remains, without a doubt, one of the single coolest characters in anime history. All he's thinking about now is that her place is here with her people now and no longer with them. And this is why Sanji is also right up there with the coolest. He knows being associated with them would make them look bad, so he's happy to take zero credit, all glory given to them. Oh, good. I thought they were leaving entirely, which, whilst it'd make for a sick exit, it'd be highly rushed given that they're wounded and hungry and everything else. So, this one is for realism. <laughs> then this moment where it all catches up to them and they no longer have to pretend to be strong so she feels confident to leave them in that moment. What a crew this is! Ah, okay, that makes more sense. I thought he could control the weather somehow with his ability, but this does make a lot more sense in fairness. The moment he is stripped of his rank and everything that comes along with it. Seeing these people all being arrested. Also, though, the duckies are all fine and healthy. Plus, seeing all of these top members still having been knocked out. <laughs> Interestingly, though, it's not the case for Bon Clay, who seems to have maybe been able to get away. We'll be intrigued to see what happens there in the future. Showing us the extensive damage caused to the city by all of the fighting. <laughs> Between that music and the feeling his words are giving me, it actually reminds me of the end of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and how that got me in much the same way. Whilst I'm here, take another for that crowd work. <laughs> Oh, I can't just forget these people in tears from the powerful words of their king. That was lovely. What a story. Yeah, their collective battle is over now. Man, I'm so oddly proud of them all. It's crazy. Am I alone in that feeling? Emergency new Kawaii alert. One Piece continues the tradition of giving us such awesomely unique looking ships. She rises in my estimations like crazy. She has a true sense of honor and duty and justice, and she knows taking them prisoner would be horrific after what they just did, pirates or not. Koza still lives, and I shouldn't even need to tell you that if we're blessed enough to see his father again, that a win is locked and loaded, ready to go for that moment. Getting to see another part of the country and the detail put into its city shown from a distance. But also a second one for getting a more citizen-based response to events. Children happy, parents thankful their children can come home from war. That's so well added. These happy little fellas being happy. It makes me very, very happy to see him again like this. Just sitting there and enjoying the rain he had faith would one day come again. There's that promised win from number 3841. Good to see everyone sleeping in a proper nice bed for the first time in ages. I just thought that was a lovely moment there, as Vivi said she just wanted to tell Pal thank you. It's interesting that there was more behind her actions than merely an ideal of justice. Instead, it was also about her being weak, unable to complete her duty, and having to rely on pirates. 
His apt description of pirates like Luffy and Zoro and others they've met who were forced to keep on getting stronger, I liked that. This is also what I love about Oda and One Piece is that even they, as marines, are given such character depth and growth like this, and it's actually meaningful stuff, not just surface level BS. That realism, it's not just a single marine ship, it's three. It's got tons of soldiers waiting to board, and it's got supplies ready to take on there too. Tells you everything you need to know about Smoker, that he doesn't have any interest whatsoever in taking credit for Luffy's actions. It also opens up another interesting avenue in the story, that being why HQ is so dead set on seeing Luffy and his crew as the bad guys and wanting them caught, even with Smoker's report here. He is so sick, dude! What a guy, seriously! He smashed through the roof of my estimations right there! And a final art style change to the end of the fantastic series of episodes for this video. Darth Weirdo, Mal Liao, Nick Windham, The Elementator Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Nazomi, Orkeeper, Otter A. Bodonisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christian Tuasa, Commander Chris, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, James Tafoya, Your Edvinson, Kevin Elston, Comfoik, Kylie Wobb, Lisa Marie Timp, Luis Minito, Magnus, Mr. Mansu, Lightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satakayari, Zion 44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Sumi Bito, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Def the Kid123, Devon, Dragon Defender, Esso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Hoof to Lose Ritter, Israel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevink102, Knuckle Duster, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Modiverum, Monty, Mudini, Mr. Firecall, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Ryan DeVries, Sarcastic Truth, Snow, Stan, Storm970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher340, Vernon Hogan, Will Sass, Willyman, 